What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're working on the Purple M3. Got the last project on the list, flush the coolant. We're almost track ready, so let's get it started and get to the track, yeah. All right, so flushing the cooling system, what does that mean? That means all the fluid that's in the cooling system needs to get be removed and replaced with new fluids, much like the brake flush. We're gonna be using BMW antifreeze slash coolant. Two different names, same stuff. And distilled water, you gotta mix these two fluids 50-50 ratio to fill inside of your cooling system. Uh, in bike track days, sometimes you're not allowed to run coolant because it is kind of slick and they only want potentially water on the track. Make sure that your car track day does not require the same. Um, basically, this is distilled water the best Walgreens had to offer available at any BMW dealer or online. So yeah, basically unplug the drain plug, flush it out. Uh, there's, a, there's a refill process you kind of have to follow, um, but we'll get to that and bleed all of the air out of the system and we should be good to go. Let's do it. All right, so we're under the car. This is the radiator. This right here is the drain plug, the plastic screw thing. Basically, just uh, put a bucket underneath it, unscrew it, let all the fluid drain. Booyah! The cap, so you know the suction in. Oops. All right, guys. Got a little messy. A little bit messy. All right. So process just got a little bit more involved. Um, everything is drained out of the radiator. What I didn't realize is there's actually a plug on the side of the block to help drain the coolant in the block. Um, I read that on the internet just now. So in the uh, spirit of doing this properly, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and drain that. Uh, that's a lot more coolant. It's like, I think like, almost twice as much as it comes out of the radiator. So we do need to replace it. Um, so I've heard it's really hard to get to and it splashes everywhere because the, the hole's not very like direct, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like behind the headers and behind some other crap. So let's get in there and see if we can get it done. Jesus. Wear safety goggles and keep your mouth closed. <clears throat> That's no fun. No fun. Okay. All right, belly pin going back on. All right, my bad. The uh, camera died during the process. I let it uh, stay on and film a little bit too long. So the car has actually been uh, refilled and flushed, but the basic process is you're going to take off your radiator cap. Um, it's extremely messy. So take off your radiator cap, um, put in a funnel or something to help you funnel the fluids in. Very slowly pour in 
fluids until you reach sort of the top. Then go inside your vehicle, turn the vehicle on, um, or some people say, this is kind of where it gets gray, some people say to just turn it on to the run position, make sure the heat is turned on and the heater uh, controls basically are on high to medium fan speed to try to kind of circulate some of the fluid through the heater core. Uh, some people say to turn the car all the way on and do the same thing, that way the engine itself, the water pumps on, is actually uh, floating all the fluid through. There is a bleed valve here that you can actually open up to get some of the bubbly air out, and that's kind of how you tell when you're when you're done. You'll stop seeing bubbles come out of here, and you'll just see fluid come out. Uh, on the side, you'll have to monitor the level of the coolant, but basically keep adding coolant, let the car heat up. You do need the thermostat to go ahead and open to finish filling the system. Uh, your first time driving, you'll probably take it out and uh, come back and find out like, oh, your coolant level has dropped some. That's typically when uh, some of the air has escaped, plus you've opened up your thermostat, etc. Make sure you follow whatever directions for your car online. They're, they're very uh, uh, particular instructions for some vehicles. Uh, this car, what helped me actually was to jack the front end up uh, a foot or so in the air. It kind of helps uh, this be the highest point on the system. Uh, right now, the heater core is sitting you know, back in that general direction, and this is actually lower, so the air can get stuck up there. If you raise the front end so this comes up, the air can kind of find its way out to this high point on the system. Um, you can squeeze your heater hoses and kind of tell when there's fluid in them. Um, like, like I said, this is going to be extremely messy, so make sure you put a towel. I kind of put a towel in here around to make sure no any overflow or anything wasn't going to get in the way. But basically, that's the process. Make sure when you're first time or first couple times you drive the car, you either bring some coolant along to refill this up and make sure you watch the temperature, the coolant in here. Make sure everything's running fine and doing well, and you should be okay. All right, dudes, so the list is basically complete. Flush coolant is done. Register for an event. That's not, that's not that hard. Um, so the car is basically prepped. It's ready to go. Hopefully we'll get it out on the track in just, I think it's like two weeks away, something like that. Um, maybe an autocross or two as well. But the purple M3, should be good to go. Um, if you have anything else, any other suggestions, good if you guys have done any track day stuff and you have like something that I forgot, I'd love to hear it. Please tell me and I will make sure I try to get it done on the M3. Uh, I really appreciate everybody who watches the channel. The channel is slowly growing. We're up above 225 subscribers now, which is awesome. So if you're new here, please subscribe. We got some more cool stuff coming. Um, I got some cool, like some winter projects I want to do on this thing while we have some downtime. We do the cooling system with an aluminum radiator, maybe get some harnesses slash a half cage. Um, you know, just kind of like other stuff to get us down the line of track, uh, track capable and safe and all of that fun stuff. Keep supporting your other friendly YouTubers. The shirt I'm wearing, Evan Shanks, uh, youtube.com slash McShanksta or Shanksopotamus, whatever you want to call him. Um, he's a cool channel, much bigger than this one, but if you like this stuff and you don't know who he is, you'll probably like his stuff even more. So go try it out. Genuinely really cool guy. I never met him in person, but he always responds to stuff online, and that is cool, and we like that. Quick note, the strategically shop dog was left out of this video. Keep in mind that coolant uh, is poisonous to animals. It should not be consumed. Um, it also has a very sweet smell to it, so it's a, it's a fluid that animals sometimes will try to lick up and try to drink. Smart, maybe not, but they'll do it. So shop dog stayed in inside this entire project. If you spill any on your ground, try to wash it away with some, some water to dilute it a little bit. And keep your puppies safe because puppies give you love. You don't want to poison them. That ain't cool. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. Like, subscribe, comment, because I like to talk to all you guys. I try to respond to every comment that I get, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.